about radio. What I want to do is change the shape of the metal without putting pleats in it, if you understand what I mean. If I'd got a big enough sheet of copper, I would have used that, but I haven't got it. Look at that. Looks like it's grown there, doesn't it? Um, I've changed my mind about using this uh, tube. And, uh, and let's see uh, the spoil out of the middle. I've changed my mind about using that uh, because I've hammered it now. I've uh, peened the end over. Uh, not that that matters. What I'm going to do is um, I've got some rubber uh, that I'm going to I'll put a, a washer over the top of that. And I'm going to do uh, that, squeeze that down. And then what I'm going to do here, um, and I haven't decided yet, um, uh, what I'm going to do here is either fill it with lead or fill it with rubber. So it might be that I, uh, I find a, a lump of uh, rubber that's uh, a good tight fit in there and then with the uh, effectively a rubber olive. Uh, squeezing down onto there I can say that everything below there is is waterproof unless it gets flooded and comes up there um, so I think it's worth doing that just to preserve the life of this um, gearbox because the drill and uh, the mast all of the other bits I can replace uh, inexpensively but this would be a very expensive uh, gearbox to replace so that's why I'm going to the trouble that I'm going to I've uh, roughed out a little bit of uh, rubber and I just want to tidy it up around the edge and I don't know if you know this but uh, the way to deal with rubber is uh, you can grind it um, uh, and I'll, I'll show you I've ground that so as it's uh, just a nice interference fit into the uh, knot there. And you've got to have the fence as close to the wheel as you can get it so there's, there's virtually no gap there. Um, just let it stop. There's the gap won't even let that little bit of cardboard through. Um, but what you can do is, uh, if you make yourself a, a microphone cover, you can um, you can grind the foam. But again, be extremely careful, and, and never uh, always work on the assumption if it does get pulled in, what's going to happen to my hands? You want to hold it there so as you let go as I say it's, it's not it's not good practice in the uh, but it's it's something that you can do um, and only with a uh, a very fine wheel you don't want to do it with a coarse stone because it'll just grab it and pull it in I'll take that corner off I guess there is a risk any time you use any power tools. Um, 
but work safe and um, just make sure that you uh, know what the risks are and um, you know deal with it. So again, hopefully, if I can get it in focus, you can see uh, that, that smoothness. If you've tried cutting foam with a knife, it, it, it winds up being all sort of jagged uh, like that. But you can uh, you can round it off on there. Um, the the big rubber print rollers that are used in the newspaper industry and that the rollers are all ground to size. Um, anyway, just a, another wrinkle. Here I'm grinding a piece of uh, white rubber to fit in the gearbox shaft's uh, keyway and uh, that's it in place there and it's a good, good snug fit and it's slightly proud of the radius and what I did I put some uh, contact adhesive in um, uh, and that's, that's wonderful stuff I smear it <laughs> on everything all over the place Next is a fibre washer, again uh, with plenty of sealant uh, around it and then uh, that's screwed into compression uh, pretty tight. I don't know what you think but I reckon that's going to be watertight forever. Okay guys, uh, that's all uh, on this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, 73.